Hello and welcome to the 1% Solution. Here you'll find tips and tools to help you acquire more physician clients one small step at a time. I'm Dr. Vicki Rackner, your host. Today I'd like to offer you some tips about how to build your list. The bigger your targeted list, the bigger your sphere of influence, and the bigger your influence, the bigger your income. Why are lists important? Well, let's say that you've developed a video or a seminar or an ebook that you know that physicians want to receive. How do you get the word out? The solution is get your hands on lists of people who want what you're offering. There are three basic ways you can do this. You can buy a list, borrow a list, or build a list. And let's take these one at a time. There are many organizations who will sell you lists. However, it's important that you go with somebody reputable like RME. They'll not just sell you the list, but coach you through the process that will help you optimize your results. Next, you can borrow lists. You can develop relationships with centers of influence, or as I call them, senders of influence. You may be able to make a connection with vendors who have lists of your targeted clients, and you can help them deliver more value by sharing your value. Third, your own physician clients and prospects all have lists of their own. If you're offering something of value and you approach them in a spirit of service, you can ask them to share this value with others. The last way is the most important way. It's to build your own list. And this is much easier than you imagined. You've got an incredibly powerful research tool right there on your computer. It's your Google search bar with a little research that your high school son or daughter could even accomplish. You can look up medical specialties or medical associations or medical meanings and quickly develop a very targeted list. If you Google orthopedic surgeon Seattle, for example, you come up with an entire list of physicians who practice here in Seattle. Further, you can find the names of associations or journals, other places where you can go for additional research. As you build your own list, you want to identify the industry leaders. Remember, the most influential person in the lives of a doctor is another doctor. How do you do this? Well, there are lists of top doctors, including the U.S. News & World Report list that comes out each summer. Going to medical association sites is a great way to get information. You can look for the leaders, the people who have held elected office. You can find the gray-haired men, but also the young emerging leaders. You can also find information about their annual meetings. Why is this important? Well, the thought leaders are making presentations there, so you can get a list of all of the presenters. In addition, you can take a look at the vendor who might be able to share a list with you. Social media is another great research tool. A list building tool that works while you're asleep is a sign up box on your website. Have a nice offering and invite physicians to exchange their email address for the great offering that you have. And remember, you always have this ebook about how to get more patients. Every single doctor is interested in getting more patients, no matter how busy, no matter how successful, and no matter whether they're an employee. Every doctor wants more patients. One of the metrics by which you can measure the growth of your practice is the growth of your list. Your goal is to build lists of people who want to hear from you. Grow your lists to grow your influence and grow your income. Thanks for stopping by today. Hope that you found value in this content. Tune in next week for your next 1% solution.